Hello. So there are a few videos out there of how to remove or disassemble the APX and particularly its chassis system. However, for some reason, I think many of the videos exaggerate the difficulty and other videos are perhaps a little too quick in how they demonstrate things. So I'm going to go through how to disassemble the Beretta APX in a slower, more methodical manner and identify all of the tricks, if you will, that I find make sure that this is a, a simple, easy process rather than, you know, one that is going to frustrate you. So to begin with, we'll go through the full takedown features of the APX and how to uh, work with them. So basic field stripping using the deactivation button is very easy but you do have to make sure to do it in a way that is efficient so one one of the best ways and I'll, most of this information is directly in the manual if you want to find it but if you hold your hand in this form with your thumb over and your fingers wrapped around the top of the slide then you can easily retract the slide back and press on that button. Let the slide forward. Now the firearm is decocked. And then you take your fingers on this area here and the thumb on this area holding the in your weak hand, so left hand. Then all I have to do is I easily press on this button down and that will rotate the slide and off it comes. So that's trivially easy. I think people make much ado about that, but it is very easy to press that button and slide the takedown lever over. So no problem there. Now, to remove the chassis, first you need to remove this takedown lever. And there's a lot of people talking about, oh, you got to wiggle it this way or that way, but it's really not designed that way. It's designed to hold in place if it's down, but it's designed to come out straight if the takedown lever is straight, if that makes sense. So let's put that back in. And so if the lever is straight, it's going to come out straight. So that's the first little tip. You just, you, there's no wiggling necessary. Just hold it straight in its normal position and pull straight out and you'll work fine. That's also why some people struggle with uh, taking the slide off as I've seen some people shove a, a punch or stick or something through that and they push the button so far past where it's supposed to rotate that it won't rotate down easily and that's no good. So now let's flip over, take a look at this. Next thing we want to do is get this uh, this retaining pin right here out and it drives out from the left side so it's going to go this way now to do that it's retained by this spring here which fits into a notch on that space and this is what always seems to give a lot of people trouble and the reason is that you have to lift this pin up while also driving the pin out. And one of the best ways to do this, I think, is you need to grab the slide with your hands so that you create a space. So you can see that my finger can go underneath here. And I'm doing that because I'm grabbing the top of the slide with my ring finger and my pinky on this side and reaching over. And when you cup it like that, now you have dexterity with your fingers, just like you would hold a pen or chopsticks. You've got some dexterity there. So what you can do is you can then put the, whatever stick or sharp object or whatever it is that you're gonna do, you can hold that and then you can hold the rest of the slide using your ring and index fingers. And when you do that, you can see I have the pin up and I can still move the chassis without losing the pin or anything like that. And at that point, you've got 
the frame in a stable position. You can rest it even on the ground and that's going to create space here for you to take and press the other pin out, right? Is that? Yeah. So we slide that down, right? It's going to come up, it's going to hold it. Let me see if I can get this in a picture. Yeah. And then just push it down and out. And you can see at this point, the retaining pin or the retaining notch is far past the spring. So there's no worry there. And we can release the pin. And at that point, this pin will just come out. So to remove the chassis, that's the main trick is you just hold the slide with your ring and index fingers so that you can control the lifting of that pin and then you can just grab the other punch or stick or whatever you're using and drive that through right there and that works just fine. Okay, so now that we have removed the takedown pin, this chassis is ready to come out. And there's only one other thing that's holding that pin in, and that is the, or the, holding the chassis in, and that's this takedown lever. This takedown, or sorry, takedown uh, decocking, decocking button. And that is holding the rest of the chassis in place so that it won't come out. So what we can do is we can really lift from either side and we can begin bringing that out. But this piece here isn't going to come out unless we take, let's make sure I'm not blocking it here. You have to press that button in and that will let it ride over the or under the frame and from there this will come up and this slide will come up and your whole chassis is out easy as easier than making pie making pie is hard so now when you're reassembling this the thing to remember is this piece here needs to be up on the outside of the chassis. This is your trigger bar that connects everything together. And you need that on the outside of the chassis. So when you reinsert it, you need to make sure that this piece stays up and on the outside. And then you need to make sure that your magazine uh, or slide hold stop slides into the right notch and then you can press front side in you can see we've got the hole there just fine and then this side will press down and it's already the only thing you have to do is press the decocking button in and I actually you can use a punch I often don't use a punch I just use my finger to slide that under and then it'll snap right back into place and so now at this point you make sure it's all settled in and now it's aligned and ready for your two pins so this part if you look at the retaining pin in here, you'll notice that it blocks the, the hole. So you're going to have to lift that piece out. And you want to make sure here that this pin, uh, and one thing that can happen is if you rotate that pin way out of the way, it can get stuck down in there. So you want to make sure the pin, when you insert the chassis, 
is in this position so that when it goes in it stays here ready to be lifted up and from there what I do is I slide the pin under this piece here well actually I guess it's easier if you go above and you just do the same thing as we did before and you go through the process of lifting that spring up and out of the way and you hold it the same way using your ring finger and your pinky and then you get your takedown pin make sure you're going in the right way and you slide that in and you get it to go in past there at that point you can release the spring it's ready to go and now it'll be blocked by your general uh, firing uh, mechanism so you push that down and push the spring in or the takedown pin or retaining pin in and then it's almost good to go and once you push it all the way in you'll feel a click and you can tell if it's retained by giving it a little shove one way or another and you can see the spring resting in that notch there you can see if I press it one way or another you can see the spring goes with it and we're all done with our retaining pin so then the takedown pin again you just hold it in the same orientation as it would be normally attached like that and from there you find the opposite hole and it slides right in from there and voila and then you can press the button out rotate it down and you're ready to reassemble the slide the top so we can take our slide line it up uh, there we go and now here that you'll know you've basically a good chance that you've done it correctly when the takedown lever returns back to its position automatically and then we're in good shape and the whole pistol is reassembled and ready to go. All right, there you go. That is the easy way to reassemble or disassemble the APX and take out the chassis. Doing the slide is also fairly easy. Removing the firing pin and such from the top of the slide is easy enough, but I'm not going to do that in this video.